Hi, I'm Tony Fleming. Welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, I just pulled the hanging tag off of this uh, brand new arrival. This is an 07 uh, Shelby GT500 factory built car. Um, you know, these are the cars that will uh, escalate in value the quickest. I think the first year cars, um, which were uh, a limited production, you know, these cars were selling for 20, 40, and 50,000 over sticker when they first got launched. So uh, this one here we got from a, a, a customer who bought it new. It's one of our customers. We were able to, to get this car for him. It only has uh, 1,300 miles on it. So this could add to your collection and be uh, quite significant once Shelby moves on to uh, the next world. So anyway, factory equipped, uh, hand-built car uh, for a lot of the parts. Now the engines are, are the 500 horsepower supercharged version SVT motors and they are hand-built by the SVT team. Um, this does have the factory six-speed in it. And uh, as we walk around the car, you'll kind of see some of the big uh, additions to the car. So a lot of people, uh, come on and we'll walk this way for a second. Cobra wheels, Brembo brakes. The wheels are built specifically for this car to clearance the calipers too. And if you look, the spokes are cut out exactly the way the calipers are fit from behind so that they could get the wheel tucked inside, get big brakes on the car, because these cars were designed to go racing if you wanted to. Um, and they start out with very heavy duty parts, adjustable suspensions, gas, uh, shocks all the way around and uh, some really interesting stuff but on top of it you know it doesn't have to be a race car it's really not only a great looking car because I love the the black paint on this with the stripes but it's air conditioned it's power leather and heated seats um, this car happens to have also the Shaker 1000 uh, audio system which was optional and uh, it's just I don't know it's just a cool car because they didn't make a lot of them they were not cheap at all they're very expensive and they just came with just virtually everything from uh, you know, one of the first cars mass produced to do stainless steel headers, for instance, uh, and a full stainless steel exhaust all the way back with cats, and they're high flow cats, too. This is a real 500 horsepower. I don't know if you remember, but uh, SDT got beat up because some of the Mustangs that they had built uh, did not make the advertised horsepower. So ever since then, every engine that SVT has ever built is dynoed first and then put in the car. So there's no doubt in my mind, this car makes a real 500 horsepower right there. The great thing about these interiors is they're a little bit mix of retro and a little bit uh, of fresh and interesting. You know, they have really nice soft touch pieces inside the dash, great center stack, but they still have that great looking 60s vintage uh, Mustang gauges. This one has cruise control, uh, tilt wheel, in-dash six player, CD sound, you know, it may not seem like a big deal to you, but after the, uh, you know, after the initial just listen to the motor uh, wears off after the first year, you might actually want to listen to the radio ones. You can pop in six CDs, it's also an MP3 player, and, uh, and off you go. Great sound system, 1,000 watts, 15 billion speakers, it's, uh, it's pretty sick for a factory audio system. Six-speed shifter, nice looking console, great looking bucket seats with the Cobra embossed into the leather itself. Let's take a peek under the hood and see what all the uh, action's about. You know, this car also has factory billet pedals too, which I think look really nice. Hand-built SVT, aluminum motor, supercharger, and uh, they make a couple nice features on, a, on this car aftermarket. A couple billet pieces for like these covers here. Keep the stock ones, but just a couple little billet touches make this car look spectacular. Got a strut brace to keep everything in place, and that is the mill. 500 horsepower, hand-built, SVT team builds these one at a time. And uh, right here is the engine builder's signature, if we could get a picture of that right here. Built at the Romeo plant, 5.4 liter motor. And these guys are responsible to make sure that the engine not only is assembled correctly and lasts a long time, but it makes a genuine 500 horsepower. For a modern car, these things really sound great. How about we hear what they sound like and uh, then you'll know what it sounds like. Factory front and rear spoilers. This right here, love this piece. The rear end of this car is one of the best modern rear ends of any car. This is like the supermodel of, uh, of 07 cars. Great looking, chunky style, the wing. The Shelby logo here is, is although it's a little bit retro, it's like a take on the new thing. Uh, the tip's coming out nice, and this right here 
These are air diffusers to keep the car a little bit stable under high speeds and get the air out from underneath the car because the air underneath the car is what makes the car light in the rear and squirrely. The more we can keep the car on the ground, and these cars are capable of 175 miles an hour, uh, the more we can keep the car on the ground, the safer you'll feel. I don't suggest you try the 175, I'm just letting you know it's available. Not only does it have the 1000 watt stereo, factory subwoofer as part of the Shaker 1000 system, comes with a car cover. This is the kind of car you wanna buy. The reason I say that is this is a, a, this is a little over a thousand miles on an 07, we're in 09 already. Comes with a car cover, so obviously the customer cared uh, about this car. You'll be getting a car that you don't have to pay over sticker for, that has very few miles that you know is going to be collectible, that's gonna be spectacular in its condition, and you can enjoy this for a really long time. We're Fleming's Ultimate Garage. We're very proud to present this Shelby GT500, a real 500 horsepower Shelby car. Call us at 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.